from YouTube, it's Jamie here, and today I have a treat for you, literally a treat. Um, I'm going to be going over one juice today, it's the only juice in the line, and it is called Treats E-Juice. Um, so yeah, a little bit about this, um, it only comes in 120 ml bottles, which you know, can be a negative to some, but I think this juice is totally worth it. Um, it's Max VG, available in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligram. So yeah, as you probably saw, this is the Treats packaging. They did a really interesting job with the packaging. These things are clamped up when you get it, so it's supposed to look like a little treat, I guess. But yeah, it only comes in 120 ml bottles, so let's take it out and show you. All right, so here's the bottle. Let me open this up real quick. So here's your bottle. Pretty simple treats, pretty super simple logo. Um, this is the 120 mil. You know, it says 120 right here. You got three milligrams on the other side. Treats, obviously, you got your Prop 65 warning and other warnings, which are obviously should be included. So yeah, this is a really cool juice. Something else is it comes with a little unicorn bottle with the Treats logo on it. So you can take it around wherever you go. You don't got to haul around this big ass 120 ml bottle. So yeah, today um, they are available on maxvaping.com. I will put the link in the description below. You can go and scoop one up for $47.50 for the 120 ml. So yeah, let's get to tasting it. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna read you off their description of this juice. Their description is, the ultimate dessert vape. Vanilla bean ice cream sandwiched between two fruity pebbles rice crispy treats. So, yeah, first off, I'm gonna give you a smell test of the juice. Let's see what it smells like, so. So on the smell, I get uh, kind of that, that citrusy smell that you normally get from uh, fruity cereal vapes. And I also get like a little bit of a vanilla. There's also like an extra sweetness aspect to it. So yeah, let's go ahead and try some out. So this juice to me is a very interesting take on Fruity Pebbles, uh, the Fruity Pebbles cereal. Basically what they're saying is they have uh, two Fruity Pebble uh, Rice Krispie treats with a piece of ice cream in the middle sandwiched between them. So yeah, it's a very, it's a very creamy breakfast cereal flavor. The extra cream and vanilla, I think, kind of gives it that little bit of differentness from other ones. But yeah, there's, there's really not too much citrus on uh, this cereal vape compared to other cereal flavored vapes, other fruity, fruity pebbles, fruit loops flavored vapes. There is citrus there, but I think the the vanilla and the creaminess kind of set it off. It kind of, it doesn't dull it down too much. You still get it. I mean, there's still very much a lot of fruity pebble flavor in this juice, but there's another aspect there that kind of cuts it into something interesting, which is what I like. So yeah. So yeah, on the inhale, you get that citrusy flavor, the uh, breakfast vape flavor. And then the exhale is where you get kind of, the vanilla comes into play. It's a very, very sweet vanilla. This is a pretty sweet juice. Um, the vanilla and the sweetness definitely, they, they set off the cereal flavor, which is kind of interesting. It gives it this, you know, it's, it's a sweet juice, but it's really smooth. There's not too much throat hit from the, um, from the citrus to it. It's really hard to compare it to another juice I know, just because I haven't tried another one like this. The closest thing I could compare it to, if you've ever had Developer by Darkroom Vapors, it's that flavor, except without the donut in it. I'm sorry I couldn't think of any closer flavors to this, but it's, you know, it's a really interesting vape. It's, um, I mean, it's obviously gonna be a cereal flavored vape, vape, but it's, you know, it's a different take on it, which is what I like. It's not your normal Fruity Pebbles vape, which is what I like. It's good to switch things up once in a while. So, yeah, overall, I think I would give this juice an 8 out of 10. It's a very interesting take on Fruity Pebbles, and I could vape it for a while.